Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. On my desk are three different iterations of the Elgu Mars series of resin 3D printers. The first one here is the Mars Pro. It's the standard edition of the resin 3D printer that you'll find over on Amazon. Next up is the Mars 2 Pro. There's also a slightly cheaper version of this that's still rocking the same mono screen display, prints just as great and super fast, just called the Mars 2. Then we have the new kit on the block, which is the Mars 3. It is a 4K resolution mono screen resin 3d printing beast of a machine and today we're gonna to be answering the question that I have been getting non-stop since posting my initial video on the Mars 3 which is how does it stack up against the other existing Mars 3d printers when it comes to the quality of prints in terms of its resolution as well as as speed. And I've run off and 3D printed a variety of different things across these machines that we're gonna be comparing in today's video. And in the end, hopefully it will help you decide if the Mars 3 is the right printer for you, or if one of the existing Mars resin 3D printers better fits your needs. So let's get these prints off the build plate and get them cleaned up. While I'm cleaning up these prints, I wanted to take a minute to say thank you to today's video sponsor, which is none other than Elgu, the producer of these amazing resin 3D printers, including the Mars 3, which I'm showing off in today's video, as well as these brand new Mercury X wash and cure units. These are two standalone units that allow you to clean and cure your prints simultaneously. In today's video, I'm also gonna be printing all of the models with Elgu's ABS-like resin. It's one of my favorite resins to 3D print models with just because it's so easy to work with. I was also happy to see earlier this week that Elgu put out a statement saying that they're working directly with Chitu Systems, who's the manufacturer of the boards that go into most of the resin 3D printers, on trying to find a solution that better suits the end user's needs when it comes to slicing files for your 3D printers. If you want to find out more information about any of the Elgu products that I featured in today's video, you'll find links in the description down below. Thanks again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. Cleaning up the supports on 28 miniatures took way longer than I was anticipating. Yeah, that was a handful of hours of my evening there, just removing the supports so that we could check out these prints. Speaking of, we have prints off the Elgu Mars Pro at 0.05 millimeters. Then we have prints off the Elgu Mars 2 Pro at 0 0.05, 0 0.03, and 0 0.01 millimeters. And off the Elgu Mars 3 at 0 0.05, 0 0.03, and 0 0.01 millimeters. Let's get the Elgu Mars Pro out of the way since we know it doesn't have a mono screen and it's obviously going to print a whole lot slower than the Mars 2 Pro or the Mars 3. I printed all four of these miniatures along with the bases for each of them in 4 hours and 26 minutes here on the Mars Pro. Again, it was at 0.05 millimeter layer height and the results look really good. I mean, it's it's honestly, they look fantastic based on just what I'm seeing with my naked eye. I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing. That's just no surprise there since this is a fantastic resin 3D printer. But what we're really here to see is the comparison between the Mars 3 and the Mars 2 Pro. And I'll circle back to this once we look at the 0.05 millimeter so you can get a direct comparison of each of the prints off of the machine. I should also mention the miniatures that I'm showing off in this video are created by the folks over at Loot Studios and they come pre-supported, which is really nice and easy when it comes to just running off and 3D printing. And these are the 32 millimeter scale versions. So on the Mars 2 Pro at 0.05 millimeters, these miniatures took three hours and 25 minutes to print, which is a full hour shorter than what we were seeing on the Mars Pro. And again, the results and details look fantastic on these prints. Then we have the prints off the Mars 3, which printed in a lightning fast two hours and 41 minutes. That's 44 minutes faster than the Mars 2 Pro and one hour and 45 minutes faster than the standard Mars printer. That is crazy fast printing times with the Mars 3. And again, the results look fantastic. Let's line them up and compare them to each other. The biggest difference between these prints, I think are gonna really be between the mono screen versions of the printers versus the standard version. The details are just a good bit crisper on the mono screen iterations of the printer. I can see a little bit more detail than the standard Mars printer. When it comes to comparing between the Mars 3 and the Mars 2 Pro on these miniatures, I'm not seeing a massive gap in difference between the print quality here at 0.05 millimeters. And here on screen are the settings that I used over in Cheetubox for both the Mars Pro, the Mars 2 Pro, 
and the Mars 3. So if you wanted to repeat this on your own and check out the results for yourself, you can follow these exact same resin settings. And again, I'm using the standard Elgoo gray resin. All right, let's take things up a notch by going down to 0.03 millimeter layer height. The prints off the Mars 2 Pro took five hours and 17 minutes, which is just over two hours longer than the 0.05 millimeter settings that we ran previously on this machine. And again, the prints turned out fantastic. Lots of crispy detail on this at this 0.03 millimeter layer height. They're fantastic. If you're going for really detailed prints, I mean, ultra fine detail, this is the uh, layer height to shoot for, in my opinion. And here are the prints off the Mars 3 coming in at four hours and four minutes, just about one hour and 10 minutes faster of a print time than the Mars 2 Pro using the exact same print settings. Really impressed with this. And again, uh, the quality of the prints is just as good, if not slightly better than the Mars 2 Pro. Uh, it's a little hard for me to discern just from my naked eye here by looking at them. Again, all the details look super crispy on these, which is what I'm expecting. And that mono screen display, just like on the Mars 2 Pro, means that you're gonna get really fast prints. Now, I didn't even bother printing at this lower setting here on the standard Mars. It can do this. It's just going to take an extremely long time and I didn't even want to bother with it because it was just going to take forever to run off and print. And again, I really want to focus in on the comparison between the Mars 2 Pro and the Mars 3 and the print quality between these two monoscreen printers, the 2K versus the 4K. And so far, the Mars 3 is certainly beating it out on print speed. And here's a comparison between the two different sets of prints. Again, the details are looking fantastic on both of these, and it's really hard for me to pick and choose if one is better than the other. What's clear to me is there's not a drastic difference between the quality of these prints between the two printers. I think I need to invest in like a microscope camera or something like that where I can really get in on the nooks and crannies of some of these prints. And again, here on screen are the settings that I used for printing on both the Mars 2 Pro and the Mars 3 at this 0.03 millimeter layer height. And I haven't done any vroom testing between the two. I'll be doing that next week. Once you drop down to these absurdly low layer height levels, your print time drastically increases. These four miniatures took 15 hours and 38 minutes to print here on the Mars 2 Pro. That is way too long for me to 3D print anything on a resin 3D printer unless it's really big. Again, really great looking prints off of the Mars 2 Pro here at this layer height, but honestly, I'm not really seeing that big of a difference between the 0.03 and the 0.01 layer heights other than the massive time difference. There's about a 10 and a half hour print time difference between printing this at 0.03 and 0.01. And again, it's not like I'm seeing massively improved prints over the 0.03 layer height. And here are our prints off of the Mars 3 at 0.01 layer height, coming in at almost exactly 12 hours print time. That is, again, pretty crazy of a print time. It's a little over three and a half hours faster of a print time than we are seeing on the Mars 2 Pro at 0.01 layer and height. And almost an eight hour difference. <laughs> between printing at 0.01 and 0.03 on the Mars 3. Yeah, again, I'm not entirely sure printing at that absurdly low layer height is really gonna give you that drastically difference of uh, a print. Maybe if you're doing things like casting uh, or molding and casting, it makes more sense to spend that a lot of, uh, you know, a lot more of that effort and time with your prints. But for your general printing user out there, I would say, 0.05, 0.03 layer height is probably the way to go. So I'm not done just yet. I did wanna take the Mars 3 and again, print some other things besides miniatures on there to see what kind of results I was gonna get comparing that between the 0.05 and the 0.03. I'm not going down to 0.01 again. I probably won't for another year. So I wanted to show these off. This is a bust here, this dinosaur boss, thing here. It's a bust from Archvillain Games that you can find over on their Patreon. An amazing Patreon. Again, another one that comes with pre-supported files, which is fantastic when it comes to 3D printing things. The 0 0.05 printed at 5 hours and 44 minutes, and the 0 0.03 printed at 9 hours and 15 minutes. So about a nine and a half hour difference between the two print times. And again, I'm not sure I drastically see that big a difference between printing at 0 0.05 and 0 0.03. I'm sure when I zoom in and get close 
close on these, I'll see some differences of, of minor details that are showing up, but I'm seeing a lot of great features that are showing up in these prints that I wasn't necessarily expecting them to because they are so ultra detailed. This is also another print where I massively screwed up removing the supports on some of these and just yanked out some of the features from the prints. But thankfully, all of the teeth came out perfectly and I don't think I yanked out any of those from the print, which is, I think, kind of the main focal area is that whole face region. Not so much the headpiece there that I definitely screwed up. And the last one I wanna show off here comes from Chibi STL over on Patreon, who makes some ridiculously cool statues of different superheroes and video games and just pop culture things out there. This is a Doctor Strange statue that I haven't, I've got fully assembled but not glued together. This is printed at 0 0.05 and 0 0.03 millimeter layer height. And again, print quality on this is fantastic, both printed off the Mars 3, this time in Elgu skin resin. And the print time on this was at 0.05, two hours and four minutes. And on the 0 0.03, it was four hours and 40 minutes. So about two hours and 40 minute difference between the two prints. And again, I'm not seeing that massive of a difference between the print quality of these prints other than the amount of time that I spent 3D printing them. So that's one thing that you'll definitely wanna consider when working with any of your resin 3D printers based on what you're printing and the time it's gonna to take to spend printing it and the results that you might get from it. It's a great idea to run off and do some of these tests for yourself. Throughout the video, I shared my resin settings that I used for all of these prints in this video at the different layer heights. And if you're interested in more details about all of my different resin 3D printing settings, and as well as my support settings, I would highly recommend joining my Patreon where I share that with all my Patreon members. And with that, a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and your continued support of me making videos and crazy projects here on the lines. If you're interested in more information about my Patreon, Patreon, you'll find links down below. So hopefully this video helped some of you out there make a better informed decision on if you want to pick up the Mars 3 for yourself, or if you want to stick with something like the Mars 2 Pro, or even the standard Elgu Mars Resin 3D printer. All of them are producing amazing print results, but obviously you're going to get slightly better results from these mono screen displays, whether it's a 2K or 4K resolution display. And obviously one of the biggest advantages of upgrading your resin 3D printer is going to be that print time savings, whether it's coming from the standard Mars to the Mars 2 Pro or the Mars 3. Again, I'll have links down below to all the different Elgu products that I've mentioned in today's video and shown off. A huge thank you again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video and let me know in the comments what you thought about this and the different results that I've shown off here in today's video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.